forecast was 10 knots from the east and what have we got? Glassy calm and visibility of all of... <laughs> are they either ducks? No, they're young uh, birds. Anybody out there? The night we had last night, oh, thunder and lightning, torrential rain. You really got to love Nova Scotian weather. But this morning, it's bright and breezy. So we're heading south. We're heading for Norfolk, actually. That's about a thousand miles away. But at least we'll get a chance to see something of the Nova Scotian coast this time. Let's go. Mr. Cheery wearing all his cold weather clothes. It's been absolutely freezing today. 12, 12 degrees. And we're going into Lock Harbour. And it's absolutely gorgeous. The last time we were here, it was thick fog and we never saw any of this at all. So all that took us to Southwest Harbour in Maine. It was a bit of a trek, but an enjoyable sail across from Nova Scotia. I say a sail, we motored most of the way. At last, the fog has gone. Look, there's Maine. Well, it looks as if this is going to be a tight fit. It's a long time to see. These... How they shrink. <laughs> yeah, they shrink. Yes. <laughs> he got it on. Maybe not as elegant as it used to be, but it still just about fits. He's going over the side and the water's quite cold uh, to clear the impeller, we hope. Ready for action. What does he look like? <laughs> the seams are all splitting. Probably come back with big holes. There's seals out there too. I'm going to come and look and see what, what he's doing. Yes. What? He was going into the waters of the Arctic. Huh. Oh, here he goes, here he goes. Oh. Did you hear that? Oh. It's freezing. Oh. He's only going to do the impeller. He's promised me he'll not do anything else. That was until I found a small coral reef growing on the bottom of the boat. But we got it cleaned off and headed south again. No, it's actually west, south west. I'll zoom in, hopefully you can see this, but jeez, how do you pick a line through all these bloody pots? Some people don't come to Maine because of A, the fog, and B, the pots. We nearly didn't come because of the pots. You see this green one? Yeah. When I mean, they are every boat length, or less. Well, yeah, every boat length. I don't even like lobster. Welcome to Maine, isn't that a beautiful boat? Absolutely gorgeous. There's boats of every shape and size, from these little down east friendship schooners to this giant super yacht catch. It was stunning. You can hear the sound of the ropes on the winches from here. Stunning. Unlike the weather. <laughs> Next morning, we thought we'd find our way into town, see if we could get a bite to eat, and clear in with the customs people. Right, we had lunch. All we got to do now is find the boat. It's out there somewhere. My cunning trick is that I lay a track on the Navionics on my phone and with luck and enough battery power you can find the boat again. I 
thank you Navionics. At last the fog has gone. Look, there's Maine. Our next job was to clear in with customs and immigration as we were back in the US and that involved another run ashore and then making our way to Bar Harbour because the customs weren't coming to us. Well, yesterday the cruise director was saying why would you come to Maine, you can't see your hand in front of your face and today we're in Bar Harbour and just look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Downtown Bar Harbour. Waterfront apartments, but they're not cheap for a week. And everywhere you go, you can get a lobster. Save the lobster. The combined lobstering fleet of about 4,000 <laughs> boats catches 60 to 100 million pounds a year. And these are the country cottages of the rich and famous, both from the mid 1800s and now. So, what are your hardcore adventure motorcyclists and ocean cruisers doing today? We are on a bus trip to nowhere. And this is the sewage treatment works. So we've made it to Sand Beach. Jeez, we haven't done this in a long time. And here's the tour guide. One of the world's only cold water ble beaches. One of the world's only cold water beaches. Sand Beach. All I can say is they've never been to Broad it. I knew where kids we used to swim in this stuff. I'm not sure there's grown men going into full immersion suits. But as I say, it is very pretty. So if you're really interested, hit pause now. We got back to South West Harbour and headed back to the boat. This beautiful boat is a Hinkley. Built in the yard here, Southwest Harbour, Maine. Isn't it gorgeous? From one beautiful yacht to another. Next up, we headed for Stonington. Didn't get many photographs, I'm afraid, but here's what the hills look like. And that's the granite quarry, a great deal of which was used to build the monuments and the buildings in Washington. If you come back in a week or two, you can see some of these buildings because we went and walked our little legs off. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give you a glimpse of Nova Scotia and Maine. Next up, we'll do Boston south to Washington and Norfolk.